Ah, that's better. Atlas Ryan. Atlas Ryan. Da 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 da. Time was, you could get something decent on the radio. The artist has a duty to seduce the ear and delight the spirit. So say goodbye to those two blowhards, and hello to an evening with Sandler Cohen. I haven't seen a sign of real life down here in months. Let's see if you're just another Johnny come lately. Something more to me. Welcome to Fort Frolic. No need to thank me for jamming the transmissions of those boors, Atlas and Ryan. Let them have their squabble. The artist, yes, the artist knows there is richer earth to till. For example, I test you, little moth, but for a reason. I test all my disciples. Some shine like galaxies, and some, some burn like a moth at the flame. Come now, into my home. You won't lock us in, old man? Oh, that's fine with the cops. I used to love you. I used to think you're a musical genius. You know why? Because you paid my rent, you ancient hat. Come on to the record store. I'll show you what I think here. Plinkity, plink, plink. The Wild Bunny by Sander Cohen. I want to take the ears off, but I can't. I hop, and when I hop, I never get off the ground. It's my curse, my eternal curse. I want to take the ears off, but I can't. It's my curse, it's my fucking curse. I want to take the ears off, please, take them off. <laughs> I've worked the meatball beat in Little Italy, and even I'm shocked at the cold blood that oozes out of these artistic types. This broad cold pepper and that fruit job, Cohen, are in some kind of feud. And Cohen's looking for my security detail to pick size. The next thing I know, I'm called into Ryan's office to talk about the whole mess. Goddamn nut job artists. Some hired Betty tried to sell me on those fancy Oxford Club CDs. Mm, no thanks. I told her I'm a nickel time man. Always will be. Why? Well, they smoke good and don't cost half a damn. Who cares if the things are made out of seashells and fish eggs? Da 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 da! Presto! Presto! No, no! I'm trying! <laughs> Once again, young Fitzpatrick. Oh God, you sick fuck, let me out of there! <laughs> Come down now. Life. Death. The burden of the artist is to capture. See young Fitzpatrick here on the stage. Use your camera. Take him as he is now. So I may remember him. Stood up again. Second time this week. Ever since my face was... Well, Steinman worked on me, but it was never the same since the blast. Me being alone so much gives a girl time to think. Who could hate me so much they'd ruin me like this? What did I do to them? You know, I keep thinking of all them bandits and terrorists. Ryan's got locked up in Paula Square, and I get so mad. Sometimes I can hardly breathe. 
And if I could only confront them, tell them what they did to me, how they're ruining everything for me, for rapture, maybe I, well, maybe I feel better. Regarding your review of Anna Culpepper's latest musical insult, of all the worthy artists in rapture, why you continue to devote column inches to this musical gremlin is beyond my imagination. Where she is not derivative, she's boring. Where she's not boring, she's obvious. Where she's not obvious, she's dangerous. I could have been the toast of Broadway, the talk of Hollywood. But instead, I followed you to this soggy bucket. When you needed my starlight, I illuminated you. But now I rot, waiting for an audience that doesn't ever come. I'm writing something for you, Andrew Ryan. It's a requiem. Rapture is going to hell. And why? Because of them. Always behind the scenes, at the Lyceum, at the galleries in Soho, even down here this so-called utopia, the doubters. But Ryan understands, we're simpatico. Yes, there's blood in the streets. Yes, people sometimes disappear. And those awful little girls. Well, I suppose the doubters think you can paint a picture without soiling your smock. Do you see it? When I am dust, this is what they'll point to. My quad tick. My masterpiece. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Touch it. You think you're gonna finish me in here, you old fruit? The other saps you tossed in this meat locker, all panicked like rabbits. I just watched and waited. And when they started to kick, I started to scavenge. Made myself a little splicer cocktail I did. You can't come in for the cold. Then you gotta grow ice over your heart. And the ice man cometh, Sander baby. The ice man fucking cometh. Fontaine knew our blokes were coming. We were done over. Then splicers come screaming out the woodwork. Burp in fire, spit in ice. Demons out of the Bible, they were. I've never seen nothing like it. It wasn't a business he was building. It was an army. I just got the word to put the bump on Anna Culpepper. This isn't some gangster or hard-nosed political operative. We're talking about a dizzy twist what wrote a song or two that got under Ryan's wig. The good people of Rapture didn't sign up to see us government type shutting down shops, killing their owners. Even with a ponce like Fontaine. But he brung it upon himself. Instead of copping it on the chin, bugger gets it into his head that he's gonna go down guns blazing. Who does he think he is? John Bloody White? We can get on top of this. We can. Here's what we know. We find Fontaine's will and make what was his go to where it was intended. And not into the pockets of us that put him into the ground. Rise, rap, 
Entourage nuts. That stuff was still before it came out of Cohen's pen. I'm full with the whole pinata. See that old fool trying to keep me here. such terrible things Thank and you. done worse myself. Thank, Thank you, for, you for reminding me that the light of the world has not yet been snuffed out. Cohen's not a musician. He's Ryan's stable boy. Ryan's corrupt policies crap all over the place and Cohen flutters around clearing it up. But instead of using a shovel like you would with a proper mule, Cohen tidies with a catchy melody and a clever tone of phrase. But no matter how nicely it sounds, he can't really do anything about the smell. It is accomplished! It's... And your path to Ryan is now complete. What happened to you? I've been trying to raise you for a dog's age. Never mind. Would you kindly leg it over to the spear and get on down to Hephaestus? It's time to settle up with Ryan. Go.